As the horses move in behind the gate, it'll be Quinty Commander with Terry Kerr, Reprisal T and Jim Ainsworth. Number three is Broomfield Guy. Bev Kingston is in the bike. The four horse has been scratched, and the ten horse has moved into the four position. That's Taluma with Ross Roselle. Number five is uh, Candor B. Fast with Bryce Fenn. Six is Speedy Tully and Gord McKnight. Seven, Glory's Duke. Randy Fulmer, eight is Hockey Bro Line, and nine Triple R Express. As they come to the post, the favorite is number five, Candor Be Fast. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Reprisal old TOA alertly for the early lead. Going off stride, leaving Hockey Bro Line. Moving up from between horses, coming to challenge is Speedy Tully. On the far outside, Glory's Duke has moved up to be third. Taluma is now fourth. Broomfield Guy along the inside. Trotting along the inside in sixth is Quinty Commander. Seventh along the inside, Candor B. Fast. Racing in eighth is Triple R Express. Far back trailing. Hockey Bro Line opening quarter was in 29 and two fifths. Racing on through the stretch for the first time up on the outside, taking over the late Speedy Tilly. Now trotting second is Reprisal T. Racing along third, Broomfield Guy. Moving up quickly on the outside, here comes Quinty Commander. Followed by Hockey Pro Line in at the rail, Clarice Duke out and moving now. Triple R Express moving up on the outside, Candor be fast, and Taluma trailing the field, racing on over towards the halfway point. And now coming away with the lead along the inside. And that is Quinty Commander. The half was in 101 flat, racing on down the back stretch with the lead. Quinty Commander out by a length and a half. Hockey Pro Line coming second on the outside, trotting third, Speedy Tully. Reprisal T coming on to be fourth. Racing up to be fifth is Triple R Express. Racing sixth, Broomfield Guy. That's Glory Duke moving up on the extreme outside, followed by Candor B. Fast. And Taluma approaching three quarters on the outside, Hockey Bro Line. And coming on the outside, Broomfield Guy. Reprisal T moving up on the outside, three quarters, one, 32 and two. On around the far turn, that's Reprisal T coming on to take over the lead. Racing second, Hockey Bro Line far outside. Here comes Glory Stout. Broomfield Guy and Quinny Commander, less than an eighth of a mile to go. Reprisal T has the lead. Hockey Pro Line far outside. Glory's Duke on through the stretch. Reprisal T, Glory's Duke coming on the outside. Reprisal T in front. The two-horse Reprisal T was locked in with nowhere to go in his last start last week. Tonight, he makes no mistake, gets out early and hangs on and wins this race. Actually, he wins it relatively easily. The two-horse going off at 8-1 to one odds. Number five, Canterbury Fast was the favorite, and he didn't make the board. Here comes Jim Ainsworth into the winner's enclosure for Dennis Reynolds and David Robinson of Windsor and Amherstburg. Reprisal T on top by three. The second choice in the wagering, number seven, Glory's Duke, closes up to take over second through the stretch, while number eight, Hockey Broline, finished third. Reprisal T, the winner of the fifth race, the second half of the twin try. Reprisal T returned 1830, 650, 450. Number seven, Glory's Duke paid 410, 320. The eight horse, Hockey Bro Line paid $5 to show. And the exactor paid 7920. The triactor paid 45610.